Hello students, welcome back to math class. Today we will learn about chapter 3, addition. So addition is a process of putting things together. When you put things together, we add it up. That is called addition. So today we will learn about addition without regrouping. And regrouping means rearranging the numbers uh, according to the place value is called regrouping. So when we are doing this addition without regrouping, it is a simple addition without any carryover or without any regrouping. Okay, so the first number, 830 plus 168. So here I will teach you how to do according to a step by step, by step for your understanding. Okay, here at the ones. So here at the 130 and 160, you have to first arrange according to the place value. That is ones, dens, and hundred, denoted by ones, dens, and hundred. So you first add it up, you always start it up from ones, from the right. And addition can be done in both ways. It can be upward or it can be downward. So we will start adding from ones, that is zero plus eight, it is eight. Okay, now we have step two. And here we will add the tens. The first one has been done, now the, here in second step, we will add the tens, that is three plus six. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, now the step 3, we will add the hundreds. Ones place and then place, we are done. So we will add hundreds place. So I won't repeat again because the first and second has been done. Now we will add the hundreds, which is written in green color. So. Here add plus one is nine. Okay, so now uh, this is for your understanding. So we will do it without the steps all together. Okay, so here add 130 plus 168. So just like which we have been done, zero plus eight is eight. Next, Dense place. 3 plus 6 is 9. And hundreds. Add plus 1 is 9. So th uh, this is how it is solved without regrouping. Now we will do addition with regrouping. Um, so let me repeat again. Regrouping means rearranging the group uh, according to the place value. Rearranging the group according to the place value. So uh, like again, uh, like the previous question, we will do stepwise here again. The first step. We will add from once again. That is 5 plus 7 is 12. So like I said, we are going to regroup these numbers again because it is 12. So you will place the 2 in 1's place and you will place the 1 you carry over to 10's place. Like this. So 5 plus 7, 12, 1 carry over. The second step, the first one has been done 2 and 1 carry over. So you will add 1 plus 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, and 7 plus 8 is 15. So again, um, you cannot accommodate two numbers at one place. In that case, you will write 5 in tens place. The 1 you will carry over to hundreds place. Now we will add the hundreds. 
So here again, you will add 1 plus 7 is 8. Add plus 1 is 9. So we will do again without the steps. 5 plus 7 is 12. You will write 2 in 1's place. 1 will be carried over to 10's place. You will add them all together. So 1 plus 6 is 7. And 7 plus 8 is 15. You will write 5 in the 10's place. 1 will be carried over to 100's place. So you add again. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. And I have a reminder for you again. This is just a reminder. So here, just like I said, added, add, addition can be done in any order. So here, 8 plus, 9, 8 plus 9 is 17 or 9 plus 8 is 17. You will get the same answer even if you add it from left or right. Here again, 234 plus 111. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 1 is 3. So it, this is added downward. Here, if you add it up again on the other side, 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 1 is 3. So just like this, it can be, add, it can be added both left side or right side. You can get the same answer. Or it can be upward or downward. You will get the same answer here. So we will do some few questions. The first question is, add the following. You will get a mixture of both uh, regrouping and without regrouping. So the first question is 300 plus 400. So likewise, we will add it according to its place value. So we will start from right side. That is the one's place. I uh, here see, um, I have told you that you can add it from upward or downward, but you will always start from right hand side, that is from one's place. Okay. So let's start adding up. Mm, zero plus zero is zero. Dance place. Zero plus zero is again zero. And hundreds place, three plus four is seven. Okay, so B again. Let's solve B. So 6 plus 1 is 7. Dense, 1 plus 2 is 3. Uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. Mm, now see, 396 plus 120. So we will again start adding from one's place, that is right hand side. So 6 plus 0, you will get 0. 6, 6 plus 0 is 6. Um, 9 plus 2, 11. So 11, we are not writing it together again. We will write 1 on the tens place. And 1 will be carried over to hundreds place or to the next place. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And 4 plus 1 is 5. So you got the answer 516. Okay, 123 plus 579. So here 9 plus 3 is 12. So here 12, you will write 2 here on the 1's place. 1 will be carry over. So here 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 7 is then. So again, you will write 0 on the tens place and 1 carry over to the next place, that is hundreds place. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7. So here you got the answer 702. Now we will do this, uh, find the missing digits, okay, find the missing digits. So we will start adding from once again. See, so here the two numbers, the numbers here, this is addent, uh, this is second addent. The answer is called the difference. 
or together you call these two has attender or attendum, the answer you got at uh, sum. So in this missing letter, you can subtract the, the sum minus the first addend, you will get the answer second addend. Okay, so here 3 minus 5, it is impossible, which will be taking 1 from 10th place. So which makes it 13? So 13 minus 5, you will get 7, 8. Uh, now you will have, uh, now you have only 6 here. So here, how do we get? Uh, so here you have um, 5 plus 8 is 13, 1 in hand, 1 in hand. So here you, ha you will subtract 7 minus 2 is um, 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. Now B, we will do 7, 37 plus dash equal to 61. So here we will start from 1's place again. So we will find it out. 7 plus how much will be 11? Here the number is already 7, so it can be 1. It will be in 2 digits because it is already 7. So 7 plus how much will be 12, 11? So if you calculate 7 plus 4 is 11, which means 1 will be carry over to 10th place. Now you have 1, one on hand plus 3. So you got 4. 4 plus dash equal to 6. How do you get it? 4 plus 2 is 6. Or you can also subtract... Uh, attend by from this sum so you got two now we will do the addition the adding the following using a spike apocas you have three apocas here in each abacus, there, there are three rods, and in three rods, there are so many bits. So in order to calculate this, to make it more easier, we will arrange in a plus value. We will arrange in a column using a plus value. So this is your column. We are going to arrange this. So like I mentioned yesterday, the rightmost represents ones denoted by O. And here in the column, we are using a plus value, which means the rights will be one. So we will place according to that. So we will first add the first apocas in the column, the first column. So here we will calculate the yellow bits. How many yellow bits are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six bits. So we will write in one's place six. Now in tenth place, the bits are in white color. Let's count the white colors. One, two, and three. This three will be placed in dance place. Now we will count the hundreds place that is blue in color. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now, now we will calculate the second second beads. Uh, second apocas, the yellow beads, one and two. Now the white beads is one. The blue beads is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now you have the last apocas, 1, 2, and 3. White, 2, and blue, 1. 
So now let's add it up. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 3, 11. How do we do this 11? Shall we place in one place? No, we can accommodate two numbers in one place. So we will write one in one place. One will be carry over. One plus three is four. Four plus one is five. And five plus two is seven. Now the hundreds place. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. So all together you got 971. Okay, now find the sum. See, find the sum. Here you have four numbers, 369 plus 123 plus 56 plus 4. So here there are four numbers, but we have to arrange in a plus value just like we did the two numbers addition, okay? So here you have to arrange from bigger numbers. Bigger numbers at the top, then next, next, and next. So here 369. So we will first write 9 on the ones place, 6 on the tens place, 3. Now you have 3, 2, 1, 6, 5, 4, and 2. Now we will add this up. We will start from once again. That is 9 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 6 is 17, 17 plus 4 is 21, 22, 17 plus 4 is 22, 2 you write in 1's place, 2 carry over to 10's place. Here you have 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, and 15 plus 2 is 17. So 7 you write in the tens place, 1 carry over to the next place. So 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. And so here we will arrange in a column again, according to a place value. So 0, 5, and 1. The next number, 0, 4, uh, 4, 3, and 2. 234. Next, you have 0 and 8. Then you have 6 and 5. So here, we, I have already arranged this number in the column voice. So you can do take this as a homework. Now we can relate this in our life problem as well. So we will do some daily life problems, daily life problems related. Okay, so these daily life problems related are also called word problems. And in this type of question, what we have to do is, you first read the question, first read the question and understand, first read the problems and understand the question. The second step is, once you find out the question, you find the information given in the question. Find all the information. Once you are done, you decide what you're going to do. Decide whether it is addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Once you decide, you solve the problem. And then, after solving the problem, the next step is you check the answer, whether it is correct or not, or does it make sense. So here we will do the first question. Vizzo has planted 128 red rose saplings in his garden. And his brother Philip gave him 76 more white rose saplings. How many saplings did he plant in all? Here saplings means the small trees are called saplings. So Vizzo was planting those small trees or saplings. He had planned that 128 roses. So 
also here, number of red crosses saplings were 128. Number of white, white crosses saplings were 76. So now how many saplings did he plant in all? So here in all, which means we have to add it up. So let's arrange in a column wise. 128 plus 76. We will start adding from one's place. That is add plus 6 is 14. You will write 4 in one's place. 1 will be carried over to the tens place. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 carry over. 1 plus 1 is Therefore, Vito had planted 204 raw saplings in all. Uh, the next question, during a sale, a shopkeeper sold 132 toys on the first day. On the second day, he sold 47 more. How many did he sell on the second day? So the first day, the shopkeeper sold 132. Whereas on the second day, he sold 47 more. So we will find out how much did he sold on second day. So here, the information given are, those sold on the first day was 132 toys. Those sold on the second day was 132 plus 47. Because on the question it says that he sold 47 more, which is 47 more than 132. That is why we will first find the accurate number for the second day. That is 132 plus 47. So 132 plus 47 will be 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 4 is 7, 1. So 179. So the toy sold on the second day will be 179. So that's all for today. See you in the next class.